So the next topic is about markers. In PyTest, there is a, in PyTest there is a concept called markers, and using this uh, marking, test functions and selecting them for a run. You can mark a test function with custom metadata like this, as I mentioned below. Okay, you can say pytest dot mark smoke. It's kind of it's kind of tags. For a test, you can give a marker. Okay, pytest dot mark smoke, pytest dot mark regression. So by giving this markers. You are telling this test is belongs to smoke and this test is belongs to regression. And you can also run the test based on the marker. So I want to run only smoke test. Or I want to run only regression test. Or I want to run both smoke and regression. Or I don't want to run smoke test i don't want to run smoke if i don't want to run smoke what is remaining regression so it will run regression if you want to run the test with markers you have to give a option called minus m okay so pi test minus m smoke the file name that you wanted to run so it will run that it will take that file and it will run only the markers which are named as smoke and there are default markers also available okay so there is a custom marker that you can uh, define whatever you want at that time and you can also use the existing markers so if you want to know the existing markers you just have to type pi test hyphen hyphen markers okay so it will give you so this is the command it will give you the marker names pi test mark filter warning pi test mark skip skip if x fail okay parameterize use fixture test first try last these are the available markers okay there are existing markers available there are markers that you can also create those you can call it as custom markers let me create um, a different uh, pi test file So let's create um, a file called pytest demo underscore markers and um, you know keep the same uh, for test. Okay, so let me use the markers pytest dot mark dot smoke. Okay. And regression. Okay, so I have marked three tests as smoke and one test as regression, and I want to run all the smoke tests. Let me show you how to run that. Pi test minus m smoke. Okay, m means marker, and what is the marker name? Smoke. Okay, and then the file name that you wanted to run. Refactor, rename. To copy the file name dot py so you can so you can see that three passed and one deselected okay so there are four test cases here which we can see but it has executed only the smoke test okay you can see the pi test html report You can see only three tests have been executed. Okay. 
so let's do one thing and instead of smoke let's run with uh, regression so one failed three deselected okay so the regression test has failed so 10 equal to 11 obviously it will fail okay and if you see the report only one test has been executed and uh, the remaining three have not executed because i wanted to run only the regression okay so you can also say pi test minus m not regression okay i don't want to run regression and i want to run everything else other than regression i wanted to run everything else okay that means all the smoke will gets executed okay three passed one deselected you can see three test cases in the report also okay so as i mentioned um, you know if you don't give uh, html report option by default uh, for the html report will be created in the base directory these are the custom markers which i have defined here okay so let's take one more uh, test name it as uh, e and print e okay so let me show you the existing markers okay so there is a marker called skip parameterized skip if x fail try first you know filter warnings use pictures let's use skip okay let's say so pi test and the file name you can see that three passed one failed one skipped the skipped one is e let me show you the report okay there are total five test cases and out of five three passed one is failed one is skipped what is that skipped if you can go to test matrix you can see test e is skipped so here i want to run all the tests which are not regression okay all the tests which are not regression that means see all these three smoke gets executed and this skip also has to be executed because i am saying not regression anything else other than regression okay even if i run like this you can see the report one is skipped and remaining three are passed okay not regression right when i say not regression so other than regression that is all the three smokes that is three test cases and skipped one that is another test case three plus one four total four out of four three passed one skipped one deselected what is deselected the one which we are saying not regression so this is getting deselected from the execution okay so that is about markers if you want to know more about markers working with custom markers go to this link okay working with custom markers and some examples and how to run the test using markers and all those things are mentioned here okay and one more thing i wanted to explain here so when i'm running with the markers minus m you can see that pi test unknown mark warning unknown pi test dot mark dot regression is this is a typo you can register custom markers to avoid this warning so if you want to avoid these kind of warnings okay you can register these markers if you want to register the markers we can go to the the base project pi test sorry you just have to create a file pi test dot ini okay so you need to create pi test dot ini and and you can copy this one 
Okay, I'll talk about this adapts uh, later. Okay, so these are the markers, and smoke and regression is the custom markers that I have created. Okay, so in the pytest that I and I, you have to mention only the custom markers. So the default markers are already available by the pytest. You don't have to define them. Now, if I run them again. Now you see that there are no warnings. Okay. There is one more uh, stuff called adopts. Okay. So here you can mention the options. For example, I want to this option. So if you don't give this option in your command, even though you don't give this option in the command, still it will adopt that option. Okay, so let me show you that. So I'm deleting the HTML report. Okay, so without adopts and with adopts, I'm going to show you now. Okay, so now without adopts, I'm running the file. You can see that HTML folder is not created. So it has created the HTML report only in the base directory. Okay, so let me give you the adopts. And if I run the command, okay, so you can see that I find I find HTML report. So, what is the folder name in the current project? Report the folder name and the file name is report.html. Okay, for test. So if you want to uh, change this name, HTML, you can change this name. So delete the report and run again. Now you can see whatever we have given. So the HTML folder has created inside that report has created. Okay. 